Welcome everyone in the very special session of research paper write-up. Uh, today we will talk mainly about what is writing, what is the importance of writing. Writing, but I am talking about the scientific writing, how you can write research article for the journal, for the conference, and to perceive your academic career either in the MS level or at the PhD level or at the researcher level. Writing is the most important means for communicating through your research and scientific work. The most compelling reason for many professionals to start writing either to get a job or to get a promotion or to get a academic position. Uh, at the research level, for example, if you have a very high uh, degree such as MS or PhD or even the graduate level, when the academic reviewer is going to judge you, it will be completely based on your research paper contribution, that how much you have contributed to the uh, scientific knowledge. So this is very important session and I hope that each and everyone will listen to those recorded slides and I hope that they will learn from it. The purpose of research writing is to communicate new research findings. So it is quite clear it should be simply uh, communicated and transmitted to come up with the new outcome and new findings. Scientific writing must use a common language through which we can communicate and transmit the knowledge around the world. Scientific paper is a short, concise article where you can rephrase the very big summary of 100 or 200 pages in less than 100 pages. So for that you need to have a strong grip on your writing scale so that how you can briefly describe each and everything of 200 uh, pages within 10 pages. So this needs art. Writing is in art. The second part is about introduction. What is introduction? Okay. So the introduction is basically the sta to state the purpose of the work why you need that. And if someone asks me, if someone asks my suggestion, that I will strongly argument that you should focus on the beginner of the same field. So like keep in mind, if you want to, to, first of all, you just need to build a very set type of a foundation on which you can build your house. Do not directly start with the terms which is too much complicated. So that will not attract too many readers. So if, I, if someone asks my suggestion, then I will suggest strongly that you should start with a very basic knowledge that even the beginner should understand the purpose of the study, the problem, the importance, and the possible outcome. In the introduction phase, you should clearly and broadly describe the whole purpose of the study and the process and the purpose as well. Uh, to use references in that specific portion is kind of optional, but references means if you need any, if you mention any facts and figure, then you need kind of a references to validate those references. So if you use any, it's also acceptable. There is no hard and fast rule. The, uh, in the introduction, the very second stage is about the background, focus, as I mentioned, focus on behavior, what is the history, so each and every text and figure should be mentioned, should be broadly defined with the reference. The second thing is why this, uh, this very specific topic is important and how we can actually implement or what is the real contribution of the same work. And keep in mind, throughout your study, if you use any facts and figure, 
So are like statistics or words or something which just mention some type of a digital number or numerical information or like numerical digit or numerical wording. So then it should be referred or like it should be cited. As you can see here, the very exemplary example of the introduction and the, as you can see here, the one, two, three, four, those are basically references. So again, each and every information, it should be properly cited. This is one of the another example. So as you can see here with, in the very first sentence, there is a information about 21.56 million people. So you need some type of a uh, like evidence, information or cited. And the second reference is about that how the traffic density and James or the, uh, the presenting uh, like uh, leading in the bottleneck situation. Here again you need information or like citation. And similarly in the very second sentence, 11.3 uh, billion yearly cost. So you need some type of a reference. So keep in mind for the next time, if you are going to write any article, any paper, if it's okay, if it's not too lengthy, the, the more short, the more concise it is, the more attractive it will be. The second thing is about what type of related work you will present. This means that the work should provide the lower power consumption, but the speed of their work is slow, and we mainly focus on how we can improve the speed of the work. You should also here discuss the advantages and the disadvantages of your related work. What are its advantages and what are its disadvantages? And you should also clearly mention the approach as well. How you should organize the paper, there is a very one last formula uh, at the end of the slide which uh, from the whole summary you will understand and then we will come up with the paper organization formula. But for the time being, you should make a separate section for each and every phase, like if you just create a one new folder, so there should be a separate part, uh, part for the introduction, separate for, uh, part for the uh, literature review, similarly for the conclusion, similarly for the resulting discussion, and then at the end, you can assemble, you can merge all of them together. So now the question is, how the work was achieved? How I like the question is how the specific section will actually work, how the proposed things will bring improvement, or what type of methodology or algorithm you will use to achieve that specific work. This is very much important. Explain the operation function and example for the better understanding. You may provide a separate sub uh, section for each operation as well. You should also link algorithm with the different nomenclature or the architecture as well. Each and every section should be informative. For example, proposed architecture, proposed system, proposed setup, proposed algorithm, etc. The second part is about literature review. Or you can also call it the very second part after the introduction. So what is basically literature review? The topic which you have selected for your research, how are like what so far have done by the researcher around the world. First of all, you need to get to know each and every references or each and every conclusion which is already done by the people around the world. This is very much important. Now we are talking about the objective of the literature review. So the first thing is about that how the survey uh, in your literature is chosen for your area. It also should uh, synthesize the information in the literature review and to summary. It also critically analyze the information which is gathered by different or like identifying different gates through knowledge or showing different limitations. So like what is literature review? First of all you should understand about literature review. In a simple word the work which is already done by someone else and you want to present the same model in a very short and concise form but to lead or to reach to your research topic. 
This is called literature review. So literature review portion, each and every line, each and every section figure should be referred. This is not your work, so keep in mind, don't be hungry to claim someone else's work is yours. Because this is not your work. This is already done by someone else, so you should properly refer or cite the same work. There should be a summary regarding research that how your work is linked to that. You should also integrate different studies conclusion and summary to get to know to your objective or the subject of your study. You should also demonstrate that what you have learned from the other work and what is the starting point of your idea. The, the next point is about that why this study or where the same uh, important or the significance of the same study is important according to which area, according to which country. This is the one typical example of literature review is you can see here each and every sentence, each and every major information is basically uh, de uh, determined or derived with references. So a, a literature review is a critical analysis of a published sources, as I already mentioned, or literature on a particular topic. It is an assessment of the literature which provide a summary, classification, comparison, and evaluation regarding your topic. You should also focus, a, uh, you, you should also focus on the uh, background foundation for the work so as to explain the beginner as well who don't know anything about your topic. So keep in mind you are here only going to build a background so this is not your work so you should cite each and every information. If the two example is there, okay, so like you can see here uh, example one and example two, so like both of them are specifically uh, cited with the author work who have already done the same part. So such type of information, like in example one, as you can see here, that uh, the trip generation or the, or the transportation is shifted in Beijing from cycling to walking and less toward public transport or and less toward public transportation. So here is a very big conclusive remark. So the same, a very major conclusive remark should be properly cited. So if you did not cite it, that means that you already cheat the work. And if you did not, okay, for example, if you want to copy the same sentence which is mentioned in the example one, which is already published in one of the articles, if you directly cut and paste the same line, this is plagiarized work. You should first of all understand the same example and then you should rephrase it and write it in your work and then also mention the same person name then your work is not plagiarized. If you completely cut and paste or just change one or two or three words, this is completely plagiarized work. The very third part is about methodology. This is, we can also call the experimental setup or startup. So the question is, until now, we have understand the problem. We also already wrote the literature review part what is done so far in your specific research field. Now we are going to suggest a methodology. Keep in mind, you cannot write or perform any work, any research work without methodology. So methodology is very basic part to perform or to process or to analyze the data and come up with a new conclusion. The very first thing is, how you achieved the particular result, which experimental setup you have used, which simulation tool you will use for your work, such as to use multi-criteria dimension analysis, decision-making analysis, SPSS, GIS, uh, satellite analysis, etc., etc. And here you can see the example of the methodology section only for your understanding that which type of methodology you will use and how it should look like. 
So the methodology outcome that uh, you should present the key results using both uh, like materials, tables, and figure. So these are the outcome of the methodology. So like in a very simple word, results and discussion portion. And like same is uh, regarding results and discussion. What unique is it? Like unique means what new? How you are going to interpret your result in the light of what is already known and what you have what you have derived new? Do you uh, like the the third thing is? Do your results provide answer to the problem which you have mentioned during your uh, during your proposal? The last portion is about discussion. Not last, but the but the very second last. Do your file uh, do your finding agree with what other have shown? If they do not suggest alternative explanation or phrases or unforeseen design flow in your experiment or the outcome, you should also discuss that part as well. You should also give the conclusive remark. What is or new understanding of the problem you have investigated? and outline in the introduction. This could be a performance evaluation section. And what is your conclusion and future work like? What you are going to recommend for the future? You should also sum up concisely the main conclusion you can draw on from your discussion. So look, do not confuse here, okay? It's very important. After methodology, we are going to discuss each and everything in a very detailed way at the discussion and result eight, eight result portion. So now the question is, what is conclusion? At conclusion, you should sum up concisely and conclusively the main conclusion of your discussion of your performed work. And what type of further study you, you are going to suggest. In the last each and every, as I already mentioned, facts and figure, result table, if it's not your, uh, it should be referred. So all the work, if you refer it, if you cite it, so that means that you know the basic, uh, the basic principle of the writing. This section simply gives a listing of the uh, like different type of references which are already cited in your paper. So it deeply, it uh, completely strongly depends on the type of the paper or the article that which format they are going to follow. So those are the original work. This is the one typical example of the uh, literature review. As you can see here, only I will uh, just explain on the very first uh, references here. As you can see here, the first is the all the author name. The second is we have the the basic where it is published. What is what is the topic and how we can directly go to the same information if I want to cite or if I want to visit the work which you have mentioned. This is another example, okay, so it's different just way to present your own work, okay. If I mentioned that we have uh, one format for the research paper, so this is called IMRAD. First of all, you should write the introduction.